Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Power World. In this video, I am going to show you how to get pure quartz. It's actually really easy to get. You just need to know where to go. It's not hard at all. Anyway, that just so you can see there's a bunch of it right here and it's used kind of for like end game stuff and it can all be found in one pretty easy location. You just got to go to the right spot in all honesty. So if you go up this section right here, it's the, kind of the island just to kind of give you an orientation of where we are. There's like your starting zone up in the middle is where you get to some of the more difficult areas. You can see it's the cold shore. And if you go up to no man's trail, there's a little bit of a outcropping that has a ton of crystal up here. I guess quartz, if you want to think of it that way, um, you can kind of find how it looks a little bit different than the uh, iron ore and it looks like that right there now if you have a digging tame or a tame that can mine you'll be able to just throw that at them and it'll actually harvest all of that stuff for you but it's actually pretty easy to get a hold of but it is a higher level area just so you can tell um, you will find some frozen eggs and some other just generic pals that are of like ah, 20 to 30 to 40 levels um, so it just depends on the section that you go to, but this area can be a little bit difficult. So on the map, just so you can see this area and you kind of walk up this trail. And when you walk up the trail, there's actually quite a few outcroppings of this uh, pure crystal um, or quartz, if you want to think of it that way. And uh, it's really easy to gather. And I mean, obviously I'm literally one in and I've got 32. So uh, not too shabby so it's actually pretty easy to get a hold of it late game you can build a base on this side but um it can be a little bit unforgiving just due to the higher levels of everything over here but if you kind of just move around this section you'll be able to pretty easily get a hold of a really nice amount of this crystal now you can kind of just move up and down because it's all over this area especially if you go to that one specific spawn point that i told you to go to um, you can kind of just run left and right. You see there's another piece right over there. It tends to spawn with ore, which is kind of nice. And again, there's higher level stuff over here, which can be quite fun as well. You can also get technically both of them. As long as you throw your dig toys or whatever it is out in, it'll hit both of them at the same time if they're close enough like this one. But uh, yeah, not too shabby to get a hold of a ton of that uh, quartz right there. Um, but this is required for the end game silicate, I think is what it's called or something along those lines. Uh, there's a Mal Christ. Nice. Um, but yeah, so this is how you find it. And this is the best place. I know there's a few small spawns in other areas of this map, but this island specifically seems like it's the best location, um, for this area. And again, if you kind of like follow this trail up, it's the location that you want to go in the first place. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can gather quite a bit. There's what? 30 almost encumbered again with ore and other stuff like that but again good to have access to for sure and i'll let him gather the last of it and then we will be on our way you usually usually only need like one or two rocks in order to be good for a little while you can see there's another one right over there um but that's kind of all we really needed anyways so um and i again because it's a little bit of a higher level area i mean i'm level 40 so i'm not super concerned about it but you can do this really really low level um, you just need to have the actual um, right resources and stuff like that. So, and then you just hit back to this fast travel point. And again, if you wanted to get to this early game, you very could. Just to go to Mount Floppy, over to the cold shore, follow the track up, and you get to No Man's Trail. Now, if you have a flyer, it makes it way easier. And then you can kind of just go back to your base and be good. So, hopefully this video helps you out in order to get some of that stuff. And other than that, teach.